Hi everybody, this is Laura and welcome to my channel. Happy, happy Friday to all. I'm hoping this is Friday. <laughs> I can't tell anymore. I have so many videos that I'm recording and I'm so behind. But anyways, guys, I'm super excited because guess what? Yes, you can see all the little white tie cuts in front of me. It's that time again. Um, Diamond Dice has released some more dies. And right before Mother's Day, I think that's fabulous for all of you who have not yet purchased your Mother's Day presents. And if you're like me, I like to pick out my own presents. I tell my husband, hey, honey, I bought this. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day to me. <laughs> so if you're like me and you still have not shopped for yourself or if your honey um, said, hey, Sweetie, what would you like for Mother's Day? This is a nice little, um, this would be a nice little present, nice little thing for you to look at. Um, I'm already in love. I want to hurry up actually and film this so I can hurry up and start playing with these dice because that's how excited I am. Um, Diamond Dice has released a total of one, two, three, four, five, six new die sets. Now, this release is a little bit smaller only because she has a new release that will probably be coming out another two months and, uh, you know, it's spring and all the holidays. Um, she made wonderful, wonderful, wonderful choices with these. Um, they're just great for the spring and summertime. Actually, for any time. And I am just in love. I can't wait to share these with you. And we got a super exciting new little treat, which I'm going to wow you with um, when I finish the other ones. I'm going to do these dice first, and then I'll show you the um, the other ones that I'm talking about. So a little info before I get into sharing these dice with you, um, the new die cuts. I have a lot of new subscribers, so I want to share a little bit of information. First of all, diamond die dies are compatible with all die cutting machines. Um, and they cut beautifully without a plate. However, if you have a cutting plate or a little shim, of course, like with all dies, it does make it that much nicer. However, I've been using diamond dies, and with the exception for the one die, which is the heart filigree die, I don't have to use um, wax paper or any of that there they come out beautifully they cut wonderfully and um, like I said I've never personally had to use a shim but there's nothing um, bad about it if you if you did each machine is differently I'm sure at some point when my machine my machines rollers um, get more as they get more and more adjusted I may very well need a space uh, a magnetic plate or a, or shim or some kind. Um, if the flowers are very intricately cut rather than take a chance, I will use a paper shim from time to time. But like I said, I do that with all my dice, <laughs> not just diamond dice. Diamond dice are stainless steel dice and they are made in the U.S. And right now, this bundle package is on sale at the diamond dice store. Um, for those of you who have not yet purchased your Mother's Day presents, I encourage you to go on over and check out that bundle package price because if you fall in love with all the dice that I'm about to show you and you would like to treat yourself to that package, it's already on sale right now. And with my coupon code, you will get an, an additional savings. So if it's 20% off on sale right now, and then you use my coupon code, thanks, Laura, for an additional 10%, you're going to get that bundle package for 30% off. And I cannot tell you how long they will be on sale, because to be quite honest, I don't know. But Mother's Day being here, um, it's a great gift idea. And I believe right now the... Regular price for the bundle package is $78, and right now it's on sale for $70. So do the math, guys. $70, 10% off in addition to that, and you're going to come out with a great savings. So let's get to the dies. And I'm going to share with you first, because these are the ones I cut out. There's two different 
um, dies here that I have not cut out yet. And I didn't want to cut this one out because I just felt that it was, you know, self-explanatory. Um, these are the nesting sets. Uh, this release, we have some stars. And there are seven dies to this set. I love it. These are going to be great for um, pocket letters. This one is tiny enough to cut out that we could use them for shaker cards. You can use these for layouts, ATCs, um, any and all crafty projects that you have. Um, you can you can just do anything with these guys. Um, you can make tags out of them. You can um, make cards, use them on cards. It, it's like I said. For the crafters out there, wonderful to have. I did have a girlfriend of mine that had, she just started getting into dice, die cutting. Um, a friend here on YouTube, and she had asked me about the nesting sets and why did I recommend Diamond Dice as opposed to um, one of the brands that she had heard of. And... She also made mention that she felt that uh, Diamond Dice was a, a dollar or two more than the other company, which I'm not going to name and why. And then when I showed her several of the nesting sets that that die company had released as opposed to Diamond Dice, I wanted her to see it for herself. And this is what I was trying to explain in a previous video. Diamond Dice, most of the die sets have anywhere actually i think this might be the only one there, there's seven most of them have anywhere from eight to twelve dies in the set as opposed to our larger die cut companies out die companies out there not die cut die companies out there usually offer four to seven dies in their nesting sets um that being said is to me one of the biggest differences between diamond dies and the other die companies. The other thing is the space between each one of the die sets is about one eighth. Um, with your bigger die sets, it's more like one sixteenth. I love the fact that the nesting staggering um, cuts are so close together because it lends for perfect layering as opposed to some other guys that the space in between each um between each next set is a lot farther apart and i think you understand what i'm trying to say each layer um are so close together that it, it really gives a lot of dimension and fun and it the other thing I love is because they're so close together, you can skip one and it still looks awesome. Or you can uh, do two, skip one, do four. I mean, the possibilities are endless. And I just, I, basically, I just love that there's more dies to play with. Um, they, Diamond Dice offers more dies in their nesting sets and they are, um, in my opinion, better spaced in between. Um, there isn't such a big gap difference. It's about one eighth of an inch, one sixteenth of an inch, and they work super, super, super well together. And that's just my opinion, guys. And let's get to the good stuff, the really good stuff, <laughs> the stuff that we all came to see. And I am really super excited about this release because, as you know, one of the things that I often talk about <laughs> when it comes up to diamond dice is their flower die sets. D offers the most amazing flower dies. And right now there are so many different flowers that she offers. We have the dogwood flower set. We have the sugar plum, the aster flowers, the sunflowers, the roses, the forget me nots. Um, the fancy flowers that basically look like baby azaleas. And now we have cherry blossoms. We have so many flowers to choose from now. And so she decided to start creating some leaves to go with those flower sets and some twigs, which I thought was wonderful. So this is the Melody of Leaves. And this is one of the leaf sets. And I did cut them out here for you. And as you can see, we get quite a bit of <laughs> quite a bit of leaves. I 
was amazed at how many leaves. Now this one I did cut twice only because I wanted to use this as an example as to how beautiful they're going to look with our flowers. Do you see that guys? How amazing is that now? Maybe I should bring that a little bit closer so you can see that. And then you can use the one leaf or you can use both leaves. But like I said, I am super excited about this leaf set. Um, maybe I just want to bring this a little closer without the glare. You see that guys? And there's such a wonderful variety of sizes with these leaves. And look at that intricate cut. Can you guys see that? Yeah, all the details. And then with my stylus, I would just emboss it to create some deep veins. But look at that. I, <laughs> I am so excited. I can't wait. See, here we go. Another flower here. See, and then you have the little leaves. Now, I happen to have a little from a previous project. This is one of the other flower sets, the um, Forget-Me-Not flowers. And I happen to have one of the little leaves cut out. Wait, you know what? I think I'll go one smaller. So I think it might look better like that. Can you see that, guys? They are going to look so pretty. <laughs> I am so excited. So that's our Melody of Leaf set. The one that really is exciting is this one right here. This is called the Skeleton Leaves. And this is what the die looks like. Or rather, Skeleton Leaf. Look at how beautiful and intricate. And again, cut this out. White cardstock. Didn't need any wax paper. Didn't need um, a shim or anything like that. It cut out beautifully. You know, each machine is different. You might need to use a shimmer or, or uh, a metal spacer, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm just sharing my experience. And I love this leaf. So we have a nice variety now of different leaves to use with those flower dyes or even separately. And let's face it, guys. Although summer is not here yet, fall is right around the corner. Um, and if you add these leaves with the other leaves that Diamond Dyes has, you will be all set for all the seasons. Spring, summer, fall. Yep. We will be good. So those are the leaves. Then, <laughs> something else I am so super excited about. Um, I did want to share with you what that looks like. All cut out. It is our mini envelope set. And this is what it looks like. And not only did she give us an envelope that's mini, she also gave us the little card that goes inside. And I wanted you guys to see what it looks like when it's cut out. And yes, I did. Um, when you cut it out. It automatically puts the score marks where you need to score on the cardstock for you, which makes for easy folding. And this is what it's going to look like when it's all folded up. Then this little card just slips right in there, guys. Now, can you not see this as a wonderful addition to maybe some pocket letters for where your little letter goes in for your mini albums? for your cards, for your layouts, for some hidden journaling. Um, the possibilities are endless. I love this edge and I love the fact that it looks um, very, it doesn't look like um, a hard envelope. Everything is curved beautifully. I just love it. I am so in love with this die. So happy I have this in my collection now. Super, super sweet. Can't wait to play with that. And then another one I have cut out here for you to share with you is the cherry blossoms. 
And this is what that tie looks like. And it does come in two pieces, which I love. So actually, you're getting two die, dies for this set. You're getting the branch, and then you're also getting some cherry blossoms. And I love the fact that she put so many on this plate. So you don't have to keep cutting the one over. And you do get two different sizes, which for me, I think this might probably be the best seller for this, besides the envelopes. And it's called the Cherry Blossom Branch and Flowers. Um, by far, oh, I just love it. I don't even want to say it's going to be one of my favorites because everything is always my favorite, but I just can't wait. I can't wait. I'm telling you, I want to hurry up and do this video so I can go play because I have, I'm in awe just looking at this, uh, how big this is. Why don't I share that with you guys here? Cause I already cut this out, but look at this guys. Do you see how big this is? This branch is five and a quarter inches long, almost five and a half, almost five and a half, not quite, a little over five and a quarter. How beautiful is that? This is like beautiful. Oh my goodness, I'm already thinking of a million things, especially this will be beautiful on layouts, on cards, mini albums, whatever you want. You can cut them down, you can cut them up. This is going to be amazing. You can layer them together, make them a lot thicker, gorgeous. Put some birds and flowers, perfect, perfect, perfect for um, those of us who love making those little flowers oh my gosh can you see that how pretty is that look at this guys how beautiful are these blossoms <laughs> i'm so excited i can't wait to color these in and start playing with these this cherry blossom branch is beautiful d you so outdid yourself with this one Yes, I'm super excited about that. So, guys, that's the cherry blossom branch and flowers. And last but not least, and this one, I only know of one other company that came out with this. And it is trending now. And I have a feeling it's going to be super popular, especially with these pocket pages now that we're all doing, or pocket letter pages, however you want to say them. This is called a pull strip die. And I don't know if you guys ever seen this before. Um, one thing I noticed right off the bat with diamond dies post syrup die as opposed to the other one, it's way long. Um, it's a lot longer. I never thought it would be this long. Um, I am amazed at how long this is. But if you guys, I mean, you can't, I don't know if you can see my desk here, but it's, just a little under six and a half inches. This is the half inch right here. It's just under six and a half inches. And it's over six and a quarter inches. So this is going to fit on most cards. Let me share with you first what this does. Because I'm sure a lot of you have never seen these before. Um, and I will be doing a tutorial shortly on how to use these, but I just want to share with this with you for right now. Um, I just took a piece of cardstock and I don't know if you can see that there. And what I did with my pull tab, because I did open it already. I wanted to, um, share with you guys how you cut this. This is the part, the large piece here is the part that you're going to pull on. These are your little tabs. When you're going to run this through your machine, you want to make sure that this part right here, the pull part, see where I wrote pull in it? This is the part that needs to be um, not close to any edges because if you cut it up here, this will fall right off. It won't, it won't, you won't be able to pull it. And the whole purpose of these pull tabs is so that you can pull it. So you want it a few, at least, at least a quarter of an inch away from any edges. And then what you're going to do is 
you're going to run this through your machine. You're going to open up your car because it will cut right through. You're going to open up whatever it is that you want to put the pull tab on. And you're going to run it through your machine. Now, you can run it this way or you can run it this way. Now, I'm sure the mostly everybody that did it for the first time did it this way. So I wanted to do it at a different angle just to give you an idea of the variety of ways you can use it. Then what you're going to do is once you cut it out, and as you can see, it's all cut out. You have to be very careful, guys, because this will come out. That's the whole purpose. It's a pull tab. Then what you want to do is you want to get what you're going to hide in your little pocket. Now, you can use this for gift cards. You can use this for money. You can even use it as a, a, a secret hidden pocket, maybe on a layout or a card. And I'm going to share with you in a second, if I can find my sequence, <laughs> um, what do I mean by a secret hidden pocket? Here we go. You can, you, basically whatever you want to um, stuff in these little pockets, you'll be able to do that. However, I am going to say this, be very careful about how thick or what you're putting in, which is why it's perfect for like, say, um, gift cards or stuff that are um, lay flat like that or money because depending on how much bulk is in it you will lift up your pocket from all sides so let me get some tape real quick where is my tape I was so busy making Mother's Day cards that I have everything scattered about See, now what I'm going to do, I don't know if you can see, here's the pull tab part. I'm going to put the tape around here. So here we go. Put some tape here. Because uh, this end here is folded, I don't need to put tape there. And you're going to be careful to put it along the edge. And you, whatever you do, you don't want to put the tape near whatever it is that you're going to stuff inside because then it'll get stuck <laughs> inside your pocket and you don't want that so i chose to use this little bag of sequins and i am going to lay the sequins um away from the tape i don't want the tape you see what I'm, i did there guys i don't want the tape um anywhere near the sequins because then it will get stuck i'm going to take the tape off now, I am using um, one eighth of an inch. I think one quarter of an inch tape would be so much better. But we're going to make it work. Let's see, now I am just going to seal this envelope all up just to give you an idea, guys. Now, if you were making like a pocket page or something like that this would be a great addition now do you see what i'm saying about depending on the paper and the bulk what you would do is you would pull this up rip this and it creates a little pocket and then you can take that out see how that works it's a pull tab so i'm going to do that again but this time with something a little bit flatter so you can see And this time I'm going to cut this one going across this way. This is actually the same size as an ATC for your pocket letters. Be right there, guys. You see, I'm going to take my pictures. See how I cut that? Now I'm just going to gently, because I don't want to rip it, I'm going to release it. And you can see the cut there. Again, I'm just going to put some tape to secure the pocket. You have to create a little pocket for the little um, pull tab to work. 
you need that pocket. And you don't want to put the tape anywhere near the pull tab. See how I'm putting the tape all around it? You don't want it where the pull tab goes. You want it away because then you won't be able to lift off the pull tab when you need to. So here we go. That's the little pocket I created. Now I'm going to take all the tape off. Close this puppy up. I wish I had something small. Oh, I know what I have that I can put in here. I am going to share that with you in a second. And then I'm going to lay my little flap down. This should be flat enough. Let's just hope that I can reach it now with my big fingers. <laughs> or even, hold on, I'm trying to get something a little bit bigger. This might do perfectly. Will this do? Yeah, that will do. Because we can make believe that this is a card. So I'm going to leave that there so you can see that. Sorry guys, I keep getting the <laughs> I kept getting the glue the tape stuck on my fingers. Okay, so then we glue that there. See, now this is what it looks like. And the little pull tab, you can write on it, you can stamp on it, whatever your little heart desires. You can put this inside a birthday card, a gift card, a Mother's Day card. Like I said, the pocket pages that everybody's making, wonderful. A shaker card, you can use acetate instead of um, cardstock. And then what you do is when you're ready, you just bend it forward. You pull the tab. Then it reveals your little pocket on the inside. See that? And then you just take, if it's a gift card, you take it out. If it's money, you take it out. If it's a little um, present for a pocket page, maybe some die cuts you want to share, you can use that for that. You can also just use acetate for a birthday card um, and put some sequins, glitter, and the gift card and make it see-through. Um, and you can use that on acetate as well. I've already um, cut acetate with this, so I know it does work. Um, and as you can see here by the two sizes that I made, you can do it as little or as small rather as an ACT and you can make it as large as a six by six card because this die, I just want to share that with you as well. This is all I used. <laughs> There's still so much more here. And this die does measure six and a half inches long. So you can use this for a six inch card, um, seven inch, eight, eight inches. I mean, you can use this for a, a 12 by 12 layout. And then um, it would be more than halfway across. So you can pretty much use this for any project where you would want a pull tab. Isn't that exciting, guys? I can't wait to think of ways to use this. We're going to be busy. Um, and that's the pull tab part. I just love that. I love the surprise. I can't wait to make a card for a little person. Put this and then stick some money inside. Because who doesn't love a card with money? <laughs> <laughs> they opened the card. Oh, I didn't get anything. Well, pull that, buddy. <laughs> That's going to be fun. So, guys, those are the new dies for Diamond Dies. And like I said, I am so happy that it is the weekend because I want to now. I have to finish up a few other little things that I need to do besides housework. Because i got to get the housework done. But I am going to go run and do my housework and get things in order. I might even start supper early because I want to play with my new dice. <laughs> That's the mission for today. 
I want to thank you all for stopping by today. Please go on over and check out these amazing, beautiful new dies that Diamond Dies is now offering over at the Diamond Dies website. Like I said before, I will have all the links that you will need in the description box below for Diamond Dies. Go on over and check out. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Go on over and check them out, guys. And um, another thing I just thought about, you can use this as a little frame for your pocket pages too without the envelope. And because it's two separate dies, see, and that's another thing I love. This is like getting two dies in one. This is definitely getting two dies in one because now this is a separate die and this is a separate die. And look, guys, you can use this as a little frame. You can use this for your pocket pages. You can use this so many different ways. Love, love, love that. Well, I'm going to go play. I will talk to you all very soon. I hope you all have a very blessed day. And please don't forget, if you do decide to go do a little Mother's Day shopping or even pick one up for a friend for Mother's Day or a sister or if you just want to shop next week <laughs> not right now maybe you want something else right now whenever whatever just please remember to use my coupon code thanks Laura for an additional 10% off and don't forget about that bundle package also, if you happen to purchase any of the Diamond Die dies, remember that on their Facebook page, they are now offering two giveaways every month. That, and all you have to do is use a Diamond Die on your project. Um, whether it's the card exchange that you want to participate in, or then make it with Diamond Die's monthly giveaway. Um, so, for every entry, you have a opportunity to win even more dice so super exciting about that too that's all for now guys talk to you soon bye